Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this one, I'm going to uh, do the Anubish Mark test of three times continuously between the OnePlus Nord 3 versus OnePlus 11R. Snapdragon 8 plus general processor versus Dimensity 9000 processor. And we'll try to see how is the overall stability going on between these both phones and how will be the performance results and how much battery will be draining. All those details we'll try to discuss in this video comparing both phones side by side. And right now both phones I'm trying to use with the high performance mode as you can see friends. So high performance mode is turned on at this moment between these two devices and both phones are completely charged to 100% also in this device as you can see both phones are at exactly 100% so let's get started with this anime benchmark test comparison between these both devices so right now the test has been started successfully between these both phones so oneplus 11r versus oneplus nord 3 and now again i'll be back after some time again to check the overall temperatures how it's increasing for every test as well so we'll try to see test one test two as well all the details regarding the temperature so for every test i'll try to take the screenshot and i'll be back after some time so this is the test one results what we got exactly at this moment and let me take the screenshot so right now the screenshot i have taken and the maximum temperature 36 degrees the dimensity 9000 processor did increase slightly higher regarding the temperatures so let's do the test for a second time and we'll try to see how is overall temperatures going on between these both phones battery drop to 97 percentage and still maintaining 100 percentage in the oneplus 11r device that's pretty good so that's what i did observe regarding the oneplus 11r slightly battery is not draining much so right now we're getting close to the second test and this is how the temperature is between these both phones. Snapdragon 8 plus general processor is maintaining slightly low temperatures, 35 degrees Celsius and Dimensity 9000 processor is maintaining about 42 degrees Celsius. So these are the quick temperature comparison. Snapdragon 8 plus Gen 1 and the Dimensity 9000. And I will be back after the end of the test too and then we'll try to take the screenshot. So final friends, this is a round 2 of testing regarding the screenshot, let me to take the screenshots and you can see the Dimensity 9000 processor slightly decreased during the benchmark scores but the Snapdragon 8 plus general processor was able to maintain pretty good consistent performance and you can see the temperature is 42 degrees versus 34 degrees Celsius and right now the battery is at 92% in the OnePlus Nord 3 and 96% in this OnePlus 11R device. So let's do the third test of annual benchmark test comparison between these both phones. So this is a round three of Anubish Mark test between these both phones and the test three started with the high temperatures between these both phones because the Dimensity 9000 started with the 941 percentage, 41 degrees Celsius, sorry. And the Snapdragon 8 plus Gen 1 processor, the benchmark started with the 34 degrees Celsius. So both of them, they started with the high temperatures of the Anubish Mark test. This also will impact the benchmark scores most of the time. So uh, let's see friends with the third time which phone will be maintaining what kind of uh, consistency levels and what will be the overall expectations on this processor of the Dimensity 9000. So is it, is it like stable performance can you expect or not for long hours. So all those details we'll try to discuss in this video. And I will be back after three rounds of an benchmark test and then we'll try to compare scores between these both phones. So I will be back after some time. So right now these are test 3 of testing and right now as you can see these are the benchmark scores between these both phones and the Dimensity 9000 processor is slightly lower than the OnePlus 11 and high temperatures of 45 degrees Celsius versus 37.9 degrees Celsius as you can see clearly here. So finally friends after 3 times of continuously doing the Anubish Mark test these are the third round of Anubish Mark test results and this is the second round of An Anubish Mark test and this is the first round of Anubish Mark test. If we try to observe one thing in the Snapdragon 8 plus general processor the benchmark scores in the first round is 10 lakh 66,000, 10 lakh 83,000, 10 lakh 75,000. So it's around like decreasing and increasing kind of uh, benchmark scores in this device. But overall, if you try to compare to the first round to the third round, it's slightly more. So uh, in case of this OnePlus Nord 3 in the Dimensity 9000 processor, first round, second round slightly decreased and third round also decreased. And look at the temperatures from first round to third round. 30 degrees and 36 degrees, 34 degrees and 42 degrees, 37 degrees and 45 degrees. So overall there is a difference of close to 5 to 7 degrees difference is there. That's a huge difference I would say regarding the temperatures. So anywhere close to 1 to 2 degrees or maybe 3 degrees that's okay. But this much huge difference that's something you should know about the dimension 9000 processor as well. And next time I'll try to definitely do the 5 times of annual benchmark test comparison in the next upcoming videos. Until then, instead of more updates friends, thank you for watching and signing off and bye.